Hello and welcome to the video. This video that I'm about to show you was some footage that was shot when I was up there at 3DXR doing some work related stuff. While I was there, Ben was proudly showing me the final version of his Quad Monster, which is a very modular frame designed for those customers of his that need something that uh, quite modular and configurable and quite big. Old things like the old DJI frames that used to be used for these kind of things are no longer available and the spares are hard to get. But there's a real requirement, particularly for places like universities, to have these larger, more powerful models where you can sling everything underneath from spraying equipment to cameras or loads and loads of batteries to have a really long flight time. So let me hand over to Ben at 3DXR to take you through it, and I'll put links down below. So if you're interested, you can go and have a quick look. So this is our uh, drone frame kit, or ready to use drone, um, aimed at uh, developmental use, research use, just to carry a payload. So something that might appeal to universities, anybody doing some sort of drone research or development that needs a configurable airframe to mount their sensors, equipment on, or to do, to do tests with. And um, keen viewers of the channel will remember this from many years ago. <laughs> um, so originally we um, designed one of these for a local university. Um, so this, this year, maybe three years ago on your channel, you might have seen the actual drone in the background or the evolution from wood to carbon. <laughs> so the, the original designs were very square, we use components like the M600 folding arms. We had these are very annoying to fit um, separators here for mounting equipment. And over the years, we changed its shape to become a bit more rectangular, if you like. And through many iterations and wasted carbon, we <laughs> get closer and closer and closer and almost to what you see today as the quad monster um, so let's let's have a little look over um, what it is so the one you see here now this is going to be flying about eight kilos so um, quite a quite a big drone if you like and this will carry about a one kilo um, payload so the customer basically wanted the flexibility to to mount different sensors on the bottom um, in this case the batteries are on the top but it's designed in a way that the batteries could be top or bottom or both. Your sensor could be on the top. Um, Semi-portable, so it does fold down. And um, these folding arm joints quickly fold down. We have various um, panels, if you like, these bays, um, where the customer could fit connectors of their choice, antennas, aerials, to make it neat when it's finally assembled. Um, in this case, we see the, the single GPS mount. Uh, it's positioned off to an angle to clear the batteries and make it the highest time. We, we have a space on the other side. We could add a second GPS if you like. Um, in this case, we have retracts. Um, so these are the, the standard turret retracts. You can shorten them, lengthen them, make the feet longer. Um, so the idea is just to have as many options as the person needs to make it suitable for their requirements. Um, so this case here, we have the fixed legs. This one's just loosely assembled, so um, this client doesn't require retractable landing gear. They want short fixed legs. Um, this is the internals of it. We have our 3D printed parts, access hatches, uh, 40 millimeter height inside with 20 standoffs. It's a two millimeter carbon plate, so this is super strong. When it's all bolted up, it is um, extremely strong. And we'll be looking at doing these capable of up to 20 kilo takeoff mass. Uh, the same center section, just a different combination of arms and motors to get you what you need. Have a little look inside. So I haven't done a couple of screws here, but the heart of the drone is the core carrier board. And in this case, an orange cube. So this makes the wiring inside very neat. We have power takeoff on every corner. We also have various voltage drop downs, five volts, 12 volts, um, and all the connectivity we need inside. We also run an extension of the USB. So once it's sealed up, you don't need to open it a cover. So the idea would be is that there's several stock configurations which are suitable for what you need. 
or you would, before your first flight, you would fit any parts you want and then seal it up and have it as your customized drone. The railing systems here, there's three different heights available. So this is the medium spacer. We have a short one here and on the underside, um, we also have longer spacers. So if you needed to raise this platform up more, that's all doable with off the shelf parts. Um, this particular one is gonna have dual batteries on the top. This could be a single larger battery. And again, this could be the same underneath. It could be dual single batteries. Or if all you're interested in with flight time, you could put double the batteries having them top and bottom. One thing I want to do is have it um, you know, semi-enclosed. So as we go around here, there is hardly any openings once it's fully assembled. A couple of deliberate ones to allow for the pressure sensing, but it is very well sealed. Um, it's not IP rated in any sense, we haven't tested it, but the design principle has been to keep it as, as sealed as we can do with just the required holes. As we mentioned there, there'll be various different motor combinations. So this one is geared um, for about the eight kilo mark. So we have these 20 inch propellers and we have a, a T-Motor 501 arm, um, folding joint. This is one which actually has six degrees of tilt. So that aids with stability. Um, here's another example. This particular customer wanted uh, a coaxial arm. So here we have, again, uh, the manufactured end by T-Moto with the light in, coaxial U5s. So this one's only gonna run about a 15 inch propeller. Um, 30 mil tube, and this also has a folding joint. So that will be, look slightly different. And here's another example. So this is gonna be the heavy lift one, which is we're aiming to be about 20 kilo takeoff weight. So here we have the Hobbywing X6 arm set. This will run 23 inch props and the LED inside. Nice hit, heat distribution. And again, we just make the arm longer to match the propeller size. All this customization very easy to do with this kit. So some of the key principles about this frame is we've made everything modular on it. And also we have all the spares modifications that you want to do to it um, these arm joints for example there's about four different types they are an off-the-shelf part we sell now so if you wanted to down the line change to coaxial bigger motors that's all possible if you want to put bigger arms on we have the carbon tube taller legs and um, again the same with these panels same on the top and the bottom um, the railing system all these parts here these are all spares you can buy now from us we'll also sell the various spares such as additional GPS stands or replacement parts. If you want to change the color of it, you can buy the plastics pack. Um, it's, it's a tool. So we want to, this is helps our customers that want to test their payloads. We want to make this available. If you need to do your drone testing, you want to test the sensor. This is an ideal kit um, that, that you can do that. You can, you can strap your equipment to it and it's a nice, we've done a sort of hard work for you. Um, it's strong, so we haven't tried to make this lightweight. We've gone with more the industrial and the strong unit. It's, it's still, for the size of it, it's, it's good, but it isn't the ultralight type. It's more the, the industrial type, if you like. So the, this originally, the demand for this um, was from local universities. They can carry, carry their custom payloads. Um, and these first few you'll see here um, are for universities, uh, ones to carry a camera for inspection. Um, so our plan is to have um, a couple of pre-chosen setups that we think work, but then also configurable um, options on the website. So you could define your arm, your color, your leg type. Um, and then for the more advanced customers that want a bit more help and a bit more tailoring, we will be able to do full customizations of almost anything um, to meet their needs. But yeah, for most people, there's, there's probably about three choices of motor two types of legs, whatever colors, plastics we can get. <laughs> um, the arm size, if it tilts or not. So yeah, may maybe the normal ones you'd see on a website have five or six choosable items and we'll, we'll try and keep them so it's low lead times. Um, the initial ones, it will be to assemble yourself. Further down the line, we will look at doing uh, ready to fly ones with full remote setup, just, just ready to go.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.